Hi everyone, this is Shane Armonroe. Today we're going to set up the Plex Media Player right here on Steam Deck, show you a couple of little uh, tricks and tips, help you avoid a couple of common mistakes like I made. <laughs> so let's start off by opening the Discover app and searching for Plex. Now here's the part that might get you. Um, there's a couple of different Plexes here and it, you probably, like I did originally, would just jump into Plex, Plex Client for Desktop Computers. That would make sense. However, at the time of this video, signing into your Plex account didn't work. And it says that, you know, go check the system status, make sure it's up and Plex is up. So I think that there's something a little bit funky with this version of Plex. However, we are going to do the Plex home theater PC version, which is a more big screen edition, which actually is what I wanted to begin with, because I really wasn't satisfied with the, uh, the layout and whatnot of the Plex app itself. If you only use Plex to watch free crap, then you could probably get away with this because no sign-in is required. But if you have your own server, you're hopping on a friend's server, then you're gonna need to have the HTPC as of the time of this video. Okay, once it's installed, we can jump back in and verify that it is in our installed list. And it is, <clears throat> and we can go ahead and launch it from here if we like. Okay, and when you first uh, come in, you uh, may see this default free edition, right? So this is all free crap with ads that Plex wants you to watch. Obviously, if you're a Plex user, you're probably not here for that. You're gonna go ahead and sign in. <clears throat> so we're gonna go to Plex, it'll show up. We're gonna have to visit the link. So I will do that in the background while we're waiting. This works out quick and easy. You can do this on your phone, you can do this on your computer, whatever you like. And once you're linked, it'll bring up your potential accounts and all of the servers that you have access to. Mine's Plex Neo, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue. And then you can choose which of the areas of your uh, Plex server you want displayed. So I'm gonna reach over here and grab the deck and I'm gonna go ahead and turn off things that uh, I don't necessarily wanna see, including all the free crap that they try to shove down my throat. All right, so now I'm gonna have my TV shows, I'm gonna have my movies, I don't know, my, need my son and I's movie night, and we continue, and boom, you're all there. It's, uh, it's good to go. And as you can see, the controls work great inside the desktop mode. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and exit now. So right now we're all set up. We could actually get started, right? So if we wanted to watch a little paranormal caught on film, then you know, we can go ahead and watch oh, some on. of that. It's a new but we really don't need to. Yeah. All right, back ourselves out. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're using the, the start or the, um, the right hand small button at the top above the D-pad to exit ourselves out, perfect. Okay, so what we really wanna do is test this out in um, gaming mode, right? But this is, not a, um, this is not an application that will appear in Steam without us adding it. So how do you do that? Go to your start menu, go to multimedia, find it, right click on it and say add to Steam. Easy peasy. And Steam will load up and we'll actually have a uh, We'll actually have an item for it. Let's open up the library. Of course, it's on the other screen. So now you'll see Plex has its own entry. Let's make sure it works. Okay, looks like it's working great. Make sure I get signed in, choose who I am. Perfect, okay, that works. Let's close out of here. Now let's flip over to gaming mode because that's primarily where I tend to live. I'm not uh, a TV output kind of guy. Now, if I was at a hotel uh, or something and I wanted to watch Plex on this thing, that's exactly what I would do is hook it up through my hub. Okay, and we're back in gaming mode and sure enough, here we are. The home theater PC edition of Plex is here. And okay, so now, um, what we want to do first before we even run this is go over to your controls, click there, click community layouts, choose this let owls or lead owls uh, edition, and you're going to be good to go. All right, and now we'll go ahead and run it. Okay. 
Okay, let's make sure our controls work. Yes, perfect. So I should be able to get in, back out, hit exit, perfect, it works great. All right, listen, that's it. Um, now, obviously I'm gonna have to go in and put some artwork in here because I'm just a freak about having my artwork and everything up to date. But uh, maybe I'll put a link in the description below to the artwork that I end up deciding to use. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. Please like, subscribe. You know what to do. Hit the notification bell. I've got some exciting new uh, deck videos coming. I don't want you to miss out. I'm Shane Armonroe, and as always, thanks so much for watching and take care.